G'day guys, the following clip is about finding the points of intersection between a straight line and a hyperbola. Enjoy! Finding the points of intersection between a hyperbola and a straight line, it's very important to identify how many points of intersection there will be. So when looking at this equation, or these two equations and the graph, we can see that the hyperbola is in green and the straight line is in yellow. The points of intersection would be up there, as well as down there, which means we're going to need two points of intersection. Very important for you to be able to apply this correctly. We need to be sure to understand that where two graphs cross each other, at those specific points, my X and my Y values for both graphs would be exactly the same. So there are two ways of finding the solutions or the coordinates for the points of intersection. The one is using the graphics calculator and the second one is doing it algebraically. So for us to be able to use the graphics calculator, we first need to do a little bit of algebra before we can use it. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to do the algebraic way of finding the points of intersection. The first step is find and rearrange the quadratic equation. So what that means is we need to find the points of intersection or the quadratic equation for that. And we know that at those points, my X and Y values are the same. Therefore, we're going to put the X side of my equation of both equations equal to each other. So we're going to start with 2X minus 3 is equal to 8 over X. Now we need to rearrange this to be sure that we can find a quadratic equation. We do not want to work with fractions, so we need to get rid of this x. The way we do that is we multiply it, so we multiply on the right as well as on the left. Now that I've found my quadratic equation, I've put it equal to 0. My second step is that I need to use my quadratic formula. Now that I've written my quadratic formula and I've substituted my value of a, b and c into it's right for places, I will find two answers for x. The reason for that is because I've got a plus and a minus in front of my square root, and therefore I will have a positive as well as a negative answer. So my x values, my first x value, when you type this into your calculator using a positive, will be 2.89. And my second x value, when we type it into our calculator using the negative, will be negative 1.39. Now for me to find the y values of these coordinates, I need to do step number three. And step number three is I need to substitute these two x values into my original equations. You can decide if you want to substitute it into the hyperbola equation or the straight line. What I normally do is substitute it into the straight line because it's easier and there's less chance of making an error. When you have done your 2.89, remember I'm asking for the point of intersection, therefore my answer has to be written as a coordinate. This one will be 2.89, the x value with a y value of 2.78, and my second coordinate with an x value of negative 1.39, my y value will be negative 5.78. This is how we find the points of intersection algebraically. Now we're going to find it using the graphics calculator. When using the graphics calculator, these are the steps we need to use. So step one is we need to go to menu. So the menu button is there. Press menu and this is the screen you will see. This is the screen you will see. Step two is we need to go to equations. On this calculator, equations is down there. So after you've highlighted that one, press enter and this is your screen. Step number three is go to polynomial. On this calculator, it will be F2. So I'm going to press F2. Then it asks you how many degrees you want, or how many unknowns. Therefore, I am going to press 2 because that is what I want. In this case, it's F1. Now I have my equation written in AX squared plus BX plus C is equal to 0. If you look at the algebraic equation that we have found, it is in the same format. AX squared plus BX plus C is equal to 0. So what I need to do now 
is type this 2, negative 3, and negative 8 into their rightful places. So I'm going to start with A, which is 2, enter, then the highlighted bit goes to B. Negative 3, enter, then the highlight bit goes to C, which in this case is negative 8. Enter. Now I've got my A, B, and C written in there. If you look on the screen, you will see that there's a solve, delete, and clear. I want to solve because I want to find the values. So therefore, I'm going to press F1. And on the screen, it will give you your two X values at 2.8 and negative 1.3. If we look at the algebraic equation we have done, you will also see it's 2.89 at negative 1.3. So now that I've got my x values, I need to go to my next step, which is number 6, the same step as number 3 in the algebraic one, which is substitute my two x values that I found into one of my original equations. Once again, I would suggest you substitute it into the straight line equation because it's easier to find the answer. And this is how we find the point of intersection between a straight line and a hyperbola. I hope this clip helped guys. If it did, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and share it with anyone it might possibly benefit. If you've got any questions, please drop it in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Also find the link to the quadratic formula over here. See you next time. Bye.